I want to hear uh, your most embarrassing stories from the red oh. carpet. Lonnie, do you have any? Yeah. Well, you, I know that you, you brought James to the red carpet. That was a success story. That was story. a success story. But whenever I'm obsessed with Tracy Ellis Ross, I love her. Yes. And anytime I see Tracy, I always try to, like, accost her <laughs> and take a picture with her. I actually, I, and I usually succeed, but I'm always talking because I'm nervous. Like, I have one where I actually, actually. Oh, yeah. That, that, yeah. Yes. You see, my mouth is still open. My mouth, I'm going, yes, Tracy, thank you for taking it. And they just took the picture and said, like, get away, Lonnie. Now, why so. are you nervous? Because she's the boss's daughter? She's just, yeah, I just love her. I just think that she's just great. And it's just, you know how you, you, you don't know a perception of people. You hope that yeah. the people that you yeah. meet are nice. Yeah. She's really nice and everything. But I always feel like, okay, I don't want, but I was like, forget it. I'm just going to go in and ask for that picture. And I get my picture. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, clearly, possible Pat has a success story on the red carpet. He won that game. Oh, what about yes. you? What about you, Matt? Have you? Uh... Well, uh, Rue, you know I take myself very seriously, yeah. so <laughs> I'm rarely embarrassed. But there, we were just in, in New York for the upfronts, and again, I get caught in the moment, and I tried to do a David Lee Roth double split. Oh kick. no! I think we have the shot of oh, me no. totally nailing it. Oh right there. wow! And, right now, I nailed it. Until I landed, I stumbled, and I fell back through the wall, which was just oh. drapes. And they have it on camera, me falling through the drapes. And then the worst part is you can't just leave. You have to come back out like, I meant to do that. <laughs> that was right, right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. What about you, Michelle? Again, I'm like Matt. I don't get embarrassed. But there was a situation recently where you and I were at the Emmys, and our show had won the Emmy. We had, like, this is it. We made it. And some woman came up, was congratulating you how much she loved RuPaul's Drag Race. And then she said, and you too, Janice Dickinson. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah. And you were like, no, no, that's uh, not Janice. And I was like, I thought you watched no. the show. <laughs> All right, Ross, what's your story? Well, you know, I've interviewed just about every celebrity on the red carpet from Leno years or E, and I remember one time I was at a red carpet and I, I heard Elizabeth Taylor was there. Wow. And they said, Ross, you're going to get to interview Elizabeth Taylor, but make sure you call her Dame Elizabeth. Yeah. And I thought in my head, oh, like Dame Edna. Oh. And then when I met her, I was so overcome, I go, Dame Edna, Elizabeth <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> She didn't like me that much. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I love it.